What's going on, boys? We're back in the pit, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys how to get a mini kick. Okay, so, okay, first step I'd say is getting a cherry. A cherry, it, it just kind of looks like an apple, and it's like a one in a hundred drop on this map. So either you could kill one hundred players, or buy it from someone for like five hundred gold. Uh, they're pretty easy to get. I'd say buying it's worth it. Or you could just do all the other steps while killing people, and then you'll just have one by the end. Alright, so next is wheat bales. The bales you get by going to the farm section of the map. So, there's three wheat fields, and you just break them with your fist. Each time you break a fully grown wheat, you get one wheat. 64 wheat, you put in the crafting table, and it gives you one bale. I should mention, cherries and bales don't disappear on death, but some of the items on this list do. So you'll keep like four EHS bases free. Uh, the crafting table is to the right side of the farm area, and you just uh click on the you just click on the crafting table, and then you get. It. Oh yeah, also you need forty bales, so this is gonna take a while. The next step is eggs. High grade eggs are something you get by going to where docks and jungle meet and finding like a shooting area with a red line you stand on the red line and shoot the target and then chickens come down you have to feed them bread to get one egg per bread and one bread per chicken uh, to get bread you just get a stack of wheat and go to the furnace by the wheat farms wait 10 seconds after clicking on the furnace then you get bread i would suggest doing this part in diamond so you don't get killed because bread dot because you lose bread on death, but not the eggs. And doing all six in one in chainmail is risky and sets you back a lot. The next step is sugar. Next to where you make bread, there is melons. And either you have to get the perk that gets you an axe and break the melons for sugar, or buy like all 12 sugar you need from someone for like 500 gold or like 400 gold. Or you could just ask someone who has the axe perk you know to do it for you. That's probably easier. Either way, it's a fairly easy thing to get. After that, you're going to need milk. Milk is by far the hardest one to get, especially on an early day of the King's Bath. So milk, there's two ways of getting it. One is going in the sewers and finding the chest that randomly spawns, then respawns every time someone loots it. There's a low chance of getting milk, and you're going to need two milk. The thing about milk is that it despawns when you die. So as soon as you get, you need to run and do slash spawn and deposit it in your e-chest. On the early days of the map, there's always someone in diamond camping the sewers, and sometimes on the later days too. So it's really risky to do, even if you're a higher prestige like me at prestige 6, because I've been dropped three times today. So I ended up getting one from the sewer, barely escaping, then buying the last one for a vial. On days one, on the first day of the map, you could probably buy milk for like 6k. But if I were you, I'd wait till you get the round done for the quest, then just buy it for like 2k. Try getting one milk on your own, but if you can't, it's worth the 4k is worth it. It's pretty hard to get. And then the last step is go to the baker. The baker isn't in the same spot on every map, and if you're watching this at upload or in the wake of that, Right now it's at the building with the ladder in it, the brick ladder in city. But if not, just ask someone in the game. Anyways, I got uh my anyways, I got my cake done in like three hours, and that's wearing diamond the whole time, so yeah.